Grace and Chris embark upon a new life. Up to this point, they certainly have loved one another. But now, God is going to exceed their love for each other by giving them his love to love each other with. A love that is inexhaustible and has no end to it. And so Grace and Chris came in with the water of their human love, but through the transforming power of Christ's cross, leave today with God's love to love each other with. As all of us surely know, Grace is a very special lady. She's driven, <laughs> loving, and not to mention, beautiful. Throughout the years, I've gotten to know Chris, and I really couldn't imagine a better life partner for my sister. He is the sweetest, most loving, supportive guy, and has been all along. Somehow, oddly enough, luckily, there are two perfect, compassionate people on the planet, and they found each other. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Christopher and Grace on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. I, Christopher, take you, Grace, to be my wife. I, Grace, take you, Christopher, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And so I introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Edger. Chris and Grace, congratulations, you made it. Anyone in this tent who's been married can attest to this. A wedding during normal times is a struggle to plan. You guys both managed to do it during a once in a lifetime global pandemic. I can't imagine the stress you felt this past year putting this together. You made it, it's over. and grace as i said earlier savor tonight enjoy every moment remember the love that's in this room today let it carry you not every day of being married is going to be like today it requires daily work 
It requires understanding and balancing each other's needs. I wish you nothing but the best. I love you both. We are always here for you when you need us. Stolat.